five years ago, we got a stop motion SpongeBob Christmas special. And now we fast forward to five years later, and what do we get? A stop motion SpongeBob Halloween special. How does it hold up? Let's find out. <laughs> Hey there everybody, this is 22TigerDude here and welcome to Chucky Attack's Halloween Extravagant Reviews as I am going to be reviewing the Spongebob Halloween Stop Motion Special, The Legend of Bukini Bottom. So The Legend of Bukini Bottom is about when the Flying Dutchman wants to scare everyone, including Spongebob Squarepants himself, on Halloween because Spongebob has this thing where scary equals funny. So the Flying Dutchman does what he can to make sure that Spongebob especially is scared. Now obviously this is a no-brainer. I was very excited for a stop-motion Spongebob Halloween special because I absolutely loved and I really do mean I love the Spongebob stop motion Christmas special we got five years and to think it's been five years since that happened is insane and it really does show that time is flying by so when I heard earlier this year that there was gonna be a stop-motion Halloween special of course I got automatically excited and the fact um, that this came out on Nickelodeon on Friday the 13th I think that's pretty cool too that was perfect I really just want this to be fun I really want this to put me in the Halloween spirit and what can I say about this one I was not disappointed not at all this gave me what I wanted. First of all, it did what the past Spongebob Halloween uh, episodes or specials have done, which is get me into the Halloween spirit. Of course, the first thing I have to comment on is the stop motion. The stop motion looks incredible, just like with the Christmas special. It might actually even look a little bit more fluid than the Christmas special, if I have to be honest, because I think a little bit more detail went into the special. You could tell that the people in charge of the stop motion and the writers behind the special, you can tell they wanted to make the ultimate Halloween special, and they absolutely did. They succeeded because Wow, you could tell they had a lot of fun with it. This is a very well written special, but just looking at the stop motion in itself is seriously impressive. There's all these kind of weird characters that pop in. There's even these characters that kind of reminded me of those don't hug me I'm scared shorts like if anyone has seen those there were certain characters that kind of reminded me of those characters from those shorts when you look at the backgrounds when you look at how the characters move the weird stuff that happens in the special like this special is really weird as a Halloween special I think should be I mean that's what Halloween is all about being spooky and weird and this special definitely fits the term spooky and weird that's for dang sure I thought the overall concept of the Flying Dutchman wanting to scare everyone Spongebob in particular um, on Halloween was uh, very cool and so good to see Brian Doyle Murray back as the Flying Dutchman because God knows how long it's been since we've seen the Flying Dutchman and Spongebob so to actually see the Flying Dutchman again was actually very cool and you know as always Brian Doyle Murray always sounds like he's having a blast when he voices the Flying Dutchman. As far as the gags go there are definitely plenty of gags to go on in this special like towards the end of the special the Flying Dutchman is taking uh, everyone's souls and you see uh, these kids throwing eggs at pretty much dead bodies of Mr. Krabs and Squidward. Mr. Krabs and Soul Form is just getting all angry. Of course, Patrick, knowing the dummy he is, he says some things that were very funny. SpongeBob, of course, is funny, especially because the things that are scary can be funny to him. Definitely, as far as comedy goes, the 
funniest part is by far when the Flying Dutchman goes inside Spongebob's brain and he just sees all of these happy images and the Flying Dutchman himself actually gets legitimately spooked because of what's inside Spongebob's brain and he just wanted to get out of Spongebob's brain immediately. I thought that was such a great scene right there. But that scene itself not only was it funny but Wow, just like the majority of the special, it's very weird. It's very trippy, especially when Giant Spongebob comes in. And not only that, but the animation. I have to say that too. That sequence when the Flying Dutchman is inside Spongebob's brain, the animation, um, the, tri the more 2D animation looks so stunning. Uh, trippy, but colorful and detailed. And that's what I really appreciate about that. So even when we go from stop motion to trippy traditional animation for like a good minute that was actually really cool plankton himself was also very funny i have to say one of the best parts about this special besides for uh flying dutchman of course flying dutchman really gave it his all in the special and spongebob patrick but plankton was also one of the funniest parts about the special he really had me laughing a lot and just like what i said it's a weird special there's a lot of weird things that happen in the special that i have to really admire they really did create a spooky special. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the stuff shown in the special may have scared kids a little bit because they really do push the spooky factor in certain areas of the special. As far as problems do go with the special, there really is not much wrong. All I can say really is that towards the end of the special, the last few minutes, I did think that's when the special started to get a little rushed. And I think that's just because, you know, because of the time limit, the special is 22 minutes long without commercials. So, of course, because of them having to stay with the time limit, I think because of that, towards the end, it's like, okay, we have to go ahead and hurry up this special. It did come off a little bit rushed for me. Of course, obviously, I still loved what I was watching, but I did feel that the pacing was starting to rush um, when we get towards the end. Overall, SpongeBob The Legend of Bukini Bottom is a phenomenal Spongebob Halloween special. This show continues to be consistent when it comes to Halloween specials with Scaredy Pants and I Was a Teenage Gary, which is paired as one episode with Ghoul Fools and now this. They have been very, very consistent. As far as Halloween specials go, I will say Ghoul Fools is still my favorite Halloween type of Spongebob special. And as far as stop motion specials go, I do think the Christmas special is just a little bit better for me personally, but that doesn't take away from how much I truly did love this special, and this is a special I could definitely uh, rewatch every year, similar to the other Spongebob Halloween episodes or specials for sure, and I think even if you're not the biggest fan of Spongebob now these days, I think you can still even enjoy this special right here. I'm going to give The Legend of Bukini Bottom a 9. 9 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Spongebob Squarepants, The Legend of Bukini Bottom. What's your favorite Spongebob Halloween special? Because we have a few of these now. And between this one and the stop motion Christmas special we got, which one do you think is just a little bit better? This is 20 to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.